What's going on, Geek Thumb? This is Chipmunk doing another reaction. Uh, if you're new to my channel, um, which I have a lot of a lot of people that have been jumping on my channel as of late for uh, from a video. So for those new subscribers and those who are new, uh, I do different type of reactions and I also do um, different type of other videos that um, I try to do all derived from my Geek Thumb, which I geek out on a lot of different things from sports animations horror movies in general like whatever genre um music uh, anime superheroes whatever uh, sci-fi star wars star trek i i can geek that on a lot of different things <laughs> so yeah uh so i try to bring all that my geek them onto this channel so uh You'll see a lot of different things. So it might be some things you don't like, you don't care for, but there might be something else that you would like, that you are interested in. Uh, I also do AMVs and play video games. So hey, but um, yeah, I'm uh, doing a reaction for an animation uh, story <laughs> show. She belongs to the Omniverse. Now this is from, and I try to be. Diverse. I've done a lot of different like animations and stuff or reacted to, but this is off of Don Devante, the one, is uh, their channel. So I wanted to be a little bit more diverse in some of the animations and stuff that I look at. Um, so yeah, I wanted to check him out. This will be my first time checking him out uh, and seeing how he does with his animation. Kind of looks like old dude's animation though. In style, how he tells the stories. Uh, I forgot his. I forgot his name, but it's someone I. I used to watch. He worked at. Uh, he said he worked at Disney or something like that. Yeah. Uh, he always has like some crazy stories, but uh, let's go ahead and check this out. So back in 2018, I had a girlfriend that I was always off and on with. Yes, her. I know y'all are tired of seeing her, but I, I was. I was dead serious about having a lot of stories know. about this specific. I have to check it out and see. That I know the game and how to play it now, but I'm gonna tell this story from a perspective when I didn't know the game. I done did my time in the churches. I ain't going back. Anywho, we were off and on because this was around the time where her feelings started to decrease daily for me over a course of a couple months. I'm talking about shawty's body language scream. Oh, yawn, I don't want you no more, nigga. Because she was the type mm -hmm. of person that got bored and moved on really fast unless you could constantly entertain her. However, was it the fact that she was bored or was it the fact that she was just used to toxic relationships? I blame myself because at first she chased me in the beginning of the relationship. Then once I folded and she finally got me, I started chasing her. Fellas, understand that women, they love the grind love the chase and when they lose attraction for you they tend to leave the relationship mentally before they do physically and that's something i didn't pick up i would say it just time. it just depends on the person so what was she you say a lot of women <laughs> but not every woman does the same thing so it just depends on the situation depends on the type of person and personality red freaking flag let the whole go Everywhere so you have to look for signs. You definitely have to look for signs. Bring up how her ex wouldn't do whatever. Especially the toxic, uh, toxicity. Then it would lead to an issue, then a break. Mind you, she was still friends with her ex. That was her first. Behaviors and stuff that you're not cool with. We have to pick up on that really quick. Values and stuff like that. People's values. You have to pick up on that real quick. And an excuse for them to go cheat with other people. And then when you find out, they hit you with the, well, we were on the break, bro. Throughout those span of the months, that happened every time. Argument, break, she cheat, I didn't know about it. We come back together for whatever reason. You know who she cheated with? You guessed it. Sounds like your fault. Ex. I didn't know a thing. If I would have known what breaks meant back then, this would be an entirely different video. Back then, I thought breaks were just, you know, we take some time off, get our thoughts together, go see a therapist maybe, you know. Then when we put ourselves back in check, I'm feeling it now, Mr. Krabs. Her version of it was, oh, I'm going to get my back blown out by some other nigga because he pissed me off. And I don't really feel like doing the opposite and working it out, even though it's something. They go either way from both because of the mental women and men. At the time, you know, being a punk, scrappy dude, it made things worse. Every time we got back together after a break, I wanted to chase her validation even more by doing things for her. Doing all the wrong things, which was stupid. Listen to me and listen to me well, my shinobi of the Mellow Mafia. Never, ever 
chase anybody's affection, love, or anything of that nature. Attracted. I did all of that not knowing a thing until yep. the day she allowed so nice of us to get caught in 4K. But the way she did it was mad disrespectful. I still can't believe it. Man, I remember it like it was yesterday. It was the day before her birthday. And my well, I said you keep on I have never going on break. For any. You probably don't I need to be together. Any girl that like I if you feel like you have to go on break for her. I did more than you could think of at the state I was in twice. Did not deserve. <sighs> and you try to got, get I back with that person, it's probably not best to be in that relationship. I know, I know. Because there's issues, I know, underlying issues that you probably cannot take care of. Not like a big party, but just if something to show everyone's not willing to change. Cake, presents, and all that. Still ignorant to what breaks are and what she's done on them. So it went like this. My homie and his mom at the time... Either change or compromise. I apologize. So you have to compromise in a relationship sometimes. It was supposed to be a surprise party, so I head to the store, get the cake, Gets the card, gets the presents, all that stuff she ain't deserved. Ready the day before. Put it all in my trunk, locked and loaded. Fast forward to the next day, 6 a.m., wake her up with the birthday call and the birthday song. The regular version and the black version. Boy, I was doing it all for somebody <laughs> that didn't even deserve it. Later that day, I pick her up and had her think this was just a regular hangout day with the homies. Because as I stated before in previous videos, she was a part of the group because she was close friends with a person that a lot of y'all probably might remember. One of our friends back then, his name was O. Yeah, this dude. She didn't say a word the whole ride. Blank expression. You would think it ain't even the whole birthday the way she was acting. We pull up to the homie's crib. It was me, the homie that let me use his crib, the one that came from moral support, and mm. oh, We get to the door while she goes That's in. That's moral support. I act like I forgot something in the car. Me and my boy Eric go back to the trunk, get everything, boom, pop inside, and everybody in the room starts singing a birthday song. The homie that let me use his crib turns on the music, everybody having a good time for like 30 minutes. After the 30 minutes is up, this is where things get slim shady. By this time, those two left to go to the store so me and her could have some alone time. I'm on the couch, but O leaves into the other room looking real irritated. I noticed it, but I brushed it off as soon as she stood over me. She parks them buttons on me like she wanted my Big Mac truck in her little garage. Like she <laughs> <laughs> like it. When the 10 minutes go by and the whole time we make it out a little bit, she talking to me all nasty, telling me what she's going to do to me when we get back to the car. <laughs> Next thing I know, her mood went from happy AF to slightly concerned. For who, you may ask? Well, she so moved up, looked over at the room, so got up, and told me she'd be right back. Still ignorant and coochmatized, I was like, okay, she leaves into the room where O was in. I kid you not, 30 minutes go by. 30. Why would you let I'm 30 like, minutes go by? So long? I've been sitting in this living room by myself for a break. So I get something to go see if Alice came back from Wonderland just to be surprised. No, bamboozled at the horrific sight I had laid my eyes on. Why would Alice you let 30 minutes go by? O on the floor. Holding hands. <laughs> Y'all thought it was something else? <laughs> That's besides the point. It be your <laughs> own homies, bro. The disrespect in that room. Not only did these niggas act like it wasn't a problem, but these niggas had the audacity to justify it. Like, her reactions were heartless AF. No remorse. Not a brain cell working in her head. She acted like, I just didn't do all of this. Boy, what the heck? What's going on in here, man? They both paying me no mind looking at the ceiling, and this nigga had a smile on his face. She hit me with the just holding hands. He and I are just friends, though. Y'all both finna be ancestors in a minute if y'all stop. <laughs> Damn, bro, you just doing too much. We ain't even doing nothing for real. Yeah, like, I don't see what's so wrong about this. Bet. You know what? Bet, bro, when I tell you I walked out that room so mad, not only did the homie, but what I thought was my homie, did me dirty. As if he'd been fighting the whole time and had no remorse for it. I still call that like too much of the same girl that I did jealousy? all of this for did me um, dirty too and tried to justify it. Be real with me, y'all. What are you doing in this situation? I know for a fact 
a lot of y'all would have stirred up straight anarchy. Like it would have been World War Six in that room with no hesitation. But me, I know how. You I need know. to talk to your girl about thing, that. But I was on different timing because that's the bro that left mama's house. I'm not trying to. And then talk to your bro about that. He would have killed me too. So I just left and regret. But that's the conversation you need to have. At with that point, both of them separate. Done. She belonged to the Omniverse. From the streets, she emerged. Back to the streets, but not in like hostility wise. Like, as far as talking to them, just trying to get an understanding exactly where their brain is at. Because sometimes from them. we tend to take certain things and our jealousies and stuff a little bit too too far and too much. It took some weeks to get over, but due to my overwhelming kindness and forgiving nature, but I managed to. If they're friends, they're friends. You can't with my other homies as support. But I don't if, owe since childhood, I didn't want to see our friendship. If you have an issue with it and they are not willing to, I had hope for the future and really tried to see if I could stop or act, act stop acting a certain way. No your relationship too, probably needs to end. This is going to do nothing but mess with you mentally. No matter how much a snake sheds its skin. It's still a snake. I feel right for the bait, oblivious to the fact that they were telling that's a relationship with both the girl and your friend. Just to get back into position, absorbing all the apologies and reasons and remorse for what they did like a dummy. And just like that, sooner or later, we all became cool again with my guard down. She and I, because of our toxic nature, got back together, which was the worst mistake of my life, especially after that event happened and thinking they were being genuine. Because immediately afterwards, this story happened. That is something you got to see within yourself as well when it comes to your your partner, girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever, and their friends or your friends and their friends if they become friends, whatever. Uh, if they hang out, do stuff together, uh, you got to see within yourself if you can handle something like that. And you got to constantly, constantly say communication is very, very key. Um, I'm not a, a big person on cheating. Don't like it. I feel like if you, if I if I feel like I have to cheat or I, I feel like I want to cheat, I have to like the we can't be together if those type of feelings is out there. So, in the relationship, just in in the freaking relationship. Uh, <laughs> if you feel like you can't handle that type of thing with your own jealousy. With your girlfriend or your, you know, being friends with a male or your boy, your boyfriend being friends with a female and you can't handle it, you probably need to leave the relationship yourself. Have that conversation because, again, this doesn't mean they're out there cheating. Even cheating uh, can be not just like physical, it can be mental. So if they're getting needs mentally from someone else. That can also be in, in the form of cheating, not necessarily the physical acts of, uh, you know, uh, what do you say? I'm trying to get it as, you know, as PG as possible as it, but not, nothing as far as like physical intimacy. So, yeah, there's something you have to have to see within yourself if you can handle that type of situation, if you don't like it, it's probably the best not to be in that situation. Because all it is is just going to bring more mental instability in yourself. So, and with yourself. So, best to leave those type of situations if you know you can't handle it. But communication is key. Communication is just key if they're not willing to communicate and they just brush you off. Again, pick up on those signs. Pick up on those signs. If they're just brushing you off, don't care about your feelings, not willing to hear you out, actually listen or compromise or something like that, then it's probably not it's probably not best to be in that relationship because it'll probably end up being cheating later on. <laughs> and you'd rather just leave the situation before it does end up to being cheating. If they're not willing to hear you out, actually compromise and stuff like that. But if you can't compromise within yourself, it's probably best to leave the relationship. Um, find a relationship that will work better for you and your stability. Because, um, yeah. You can always try to grow and work on it. But you can try to deal with it, but it just depends on yourself. But, yeah. I'd rather people not hurt their own mental trying to work something out in a relationship that could be and end up being toxic or would not work, be, would not work out in the later run anyway. 
Let me know what y'all think about this in the comments below. Uh, this wasn't a bad animation. It, again, it reminds me of what you call these animations. I'll probably check them out, see what other stuff he has on my own time. If you like this video, please put a like on the video. If you like, subscribe to some more of my content, please do. And then check out his channel if you haven't. Down in the links in the description below. So, thank you all. Please do take care of yourselves and each other. Peace, geekdom.